Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Edinburgh's Honest Guide and today's video my friends, I have a special treat for you today we're here in Edinburgh going to review the best fish and chip shop here in Edinburgh now you're probably wondering why is it the best fish and chip shop here in Edinburgh well they were recently voted at the Scottish Chippy Awards this year as the best fish and chip shop so we're here today to mark out a 10 and to let you guys know if it's worth the visit here in Edinburgh now where is this fish and chip shop well it's at Marchmont Road here in Edinburgh it's just next to the meadows probably in the middle of the meadows you can walk up the road and it's right on your right hand side we're going to go and take a look at this place we're going to mark out a 10 and I hope you enjoy this video guys but if you are new to the channel guys please subscribe to the channel click that bell for notifications so let's crack on with the video guys Hi guys, so we're here in Fish Restaurant here and this is David and he's going to tell us about, a little bit about his restaurant. Hey guys, how are you doing? David from Hashtag Fish here. Uh, we're quite pleased at the moment we've just won uh, Edinburgh's Fish Shop of the Year for the first time, which uh, is very exciting for us all. Just thought I'd let you know one of the reasons or some of the reasons that people vote for us. Um, the thing that's driven our business since we opened it was there to be different and that crosses everything we do, from the type of fish we use, to the type of products we use, the type of oil we use, the type of packaging we use, um, our huge range of vegan food and also our gluten-free food as well. Just a little bit about the fish and the product first. All the product we use is fresh, which is quite unusual in this industry, and it's also restaurant grade. My background and my partner's background are fine dining, and a point of difference we wanted to make would be to use the quality of the food you would eat in a restaurant. Um, aside from that, we've got a massive vegan range, probably the biggest vegan range in the city. We're certainly the big city's biggest vegan takeaway. Uh, the whole menu is in fact replicated for vegans. 75% uh, of the menu is also available gluten-free. Uh, we have separate gluten-free fryers, separate vegan fryers, in fact a separate vegan and gluten-free kitchen. Um, we don't use any plastic in the business. Part of the business model was to be uh, non-impactful on our local community and the general environment as a whole. Uh, which has meant that uh, all of our bottles come in glass, all of our dips come, come in, uh, in actually sugarcane dip pots and all our packaging, our own brand packaging, oh, uses yeah. recycled packaging with uh, non-toxic ink. Uh, one of the reasons we get asked a lot is why you don't sell Coca-Cola. Quite simply, Coca-Cola put a million bottles, plastic bottles in the ocean every month and uh, we sell fish, so it doesn't really work for us. So there's a bit about us. And that's, uh, that's good that you obviously care about the environment. And that's one thing and I like about um, basically takeaways who actually care a bit about what goes in the ocean and that's uh, amazing what you guys do. You, you have to, yeah. you, you, you have to, it, it's frustrating to me that more haven't followed suit. I challenged all the fish and chip shops in Edinburgh to follow suit some time ago. And it all comes down to a cost, doesn't it? So, it does come down to a cost, yeah. what, we do, what we do is expensive. Um, we are more expensive than the average fish and chip shop um, and make no apologies for it. Well, they're cheaper than the Royal Mail, put it that way. Well, <laughs> they're definitely cheaper than the Royal Mail, guys. So, the Royal Mail shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The prices up. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. I'm going to order some fish and chips. So what you've got here, very different from most haddocks in Edinburgh. This is caught by a boat that goes out in the day. So it's day boat haddock. So it's never been more than 36 hours from the boat to being in your boxes in your home. That guy's fresh fish and chips. Now how long does that take to cook? About four minutes. Four minutes? Four or five minutes. There you go. Four minutes and I'll have my fish and chips. Right, so some of our vegan food is flexitarian and some of it is, is what you've got supposed to call true vegan food. Very conscious that not everyone wants to eat what you might consider as fake meat. So there's a balance to it. Um, things like the toe fish and the vegan wings are, are clearly 
not meat. Um, but the products that are imitation meat, uh, like the uh, chip shop sausages, which is one of our biggest sellers, also the vegan burgers, are incredibly realistic. The uh, sort of the quality control test for the staff, and we do use the staff as guinea pigs, is <laughs> is it has to be so close you can't tell the difference. And if customers ring up telling us that we've sent them a meat product yeah. when we, it's a vegan product, that's almost like a mark of quality for us. We actually hand roll the vegan sausages ourselves and we actually make them a different size. So when people ring up and say, you sent us a real sausage, we can say, how big is it? Because yeah. we know that if, it, if it's a certain size, which is four inches for the vegan sausages, not six inches, which the meat ones are, we know that it's, it is a vegan sausage. Every vegan product we send from this shop is marked vegan. It has a vegan tick on the box. Um, but we do have some interesting conversations with customers asking them how long their sausage is. <laughs> that is some interesting, interesting facts, guys. So uh, we're just waiting for my fish and chips, uh, guys, and I'll speak to you in a minute. We're not allowed to use newspaper anymore. So we have a uh, no. newsprint. Hey guys, I've just got out of fish and this is the fish and chips from fish and I'm going to try it out and mark it out of 10 and I'll let you guys know how it is. Hey guys, I've came at the shop and I'm here to try the fish and chips from fish. Now I do love the shop name. I think it's a excellent name to have. It basically tells you what to sell. Fish. I think that's uh, excellent. I also am quite happy that they are probably one of the only shops in Edinburgh that do vegan food. And obviously what the guy said is 75% of their menu is based on vegan and gluten free. So that is probably excellent uh, for customers visiting Edinburgh. But as you can see guys, We've got the chips, we've got the fish. Now, I do love this box, right? I think that this is probably the best fish and chips box I have ever had. Now, I love how the chips are separated from the fish. That is, that doesn't get done. Usually the fish is on top of the chips and then, you know what I mean? That just makes a bit of a mess. But here, uh, at this fish and chip shop, Everything is separate, it's nicely presented. You've got a wee bit of can lemon here. Uh, and I just think, overall, it looks delicious. So, I'm going to try one of the chips now to see how it is, guys. Hmm. I can't fault them whatsoever. You don't even... You can tell the oil's been changed. Because there's not that oil taste. And it's true what he said. Um, you know what I mean? They, they use different oil. Which is amazing. Nice and crispy. Which, obviously, people love crispy chips. Overall, not getting any issues with the chips. Mm. Definitely need to put the lemon on the fish. Definitely. Now, the fish is freshly cooked. And that's what I love about places like this. Everything's cooked fresh. There's no moaning about that fish has been lying there for 20 minutes or half an hour. Or it's went under the heat. It's went too crispy. And then you're paying all that money for a fish that's been lying there for a long time. Everything's cooked fresh. Can't grumble whatsoever. Uh, it's golden. It's battered. It looks absolutely delicious, guys. That's there. Nicely cooked inside. It took four minutes to cook. Delicious. Let's try it.
The butter is amazing. The butter is gorgeous. See with the lemon. Oh, oh, it just brings out that, that flavour. Stunning. And the fish is nice and there. Uh, nice and soft. Mmm. That's definitely a good fish guys, definitely. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about price. Now, this is probably not the cheapest uh, fish and chips restaurant here in Edinburgh. It's probably just above average. Your average you expect to pay uh, for your local fish and chip shop is between 10 uh, and 11 pound. Uh, it's probably just above average, but the more expensive restaurants it's obviously going to be uh, like the Royal Mile area uh, where you're going to have maybe £15, £16 pound for the fish and chips. Uh, and overall, I think it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. I think £13 pound is quite reasonable for what you're getting. I mean, you, you aren't just paying for the fish and chips. You're paying for the box, you're paying for the service, you're paying for the oil. You're, you're paying for everything they, they provide. You know what I mean? And that's what they pride themselves doing. They pride themselves in giving quality food. Everything's fresh. You know what I mean? I, I mean, you don't need to... It's not there waiting for you all burnt to a crisp. Everything's cooked fresh. You wait five, ten minutes, your food's there, ready to go. And it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. The owner cares about what he provides. And uh, I've got to say, it's definitely, definitely worth the money. Now, rating. Now... I'm going to rate this, drum roll please, 9.8 out of 10, definitely 100%, 9.8 out of 10, and that other 0.02% that I didn't get give it, uh, that's probably, there probably wasn't enough, I mean I could eat two of them easy peasy, but Overall, I'm happy with what you get. Uh, I think the box thing is, well, that's probably the best thing. I'm, I'm over the moon with the box. I mean, the box is probably the best thing. This here, this easy wee lid here, is probably the best thing in this box <laughs> right now. I've never seen it before. I don't understand why other people can't get these boxes produced uh, and keep everything separate and keep your fish nice and fresh. Uh, Definitely unique guys and definitely worth the, the mark of uh, 9.8. But if you've been to this place, I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear in the comments below what you think of this place. Are you happy that you've got somewhere to go that's vegan friendly? Are you happy that you've got somewhere to go that is producing excellent food here in Edinburgh? And I've got to say they're definitely, they're definitely worth that award that they won at the Chippy Awards. 110% I would probably rate them if not the best but one of the best fish and chip shops in Edinburgh 110% can't fault it but I'm open to another challenge so if you do know any other fish and chip shops that deserves a review then get in touch with me write it in the comments and I might go and review it to find out if it's Edinburgh's best fish and chip shop or it's not. <laughs> I've yet to find a fish and chip shop that I don't like. So I'm, maybe I should try and find the worst fish and chip shop and then try and compare the two and then you'll ken what you get for that price to this price. Now I mean, for that extra couple of pound, you're getting top quality food, guys. Well, that was the best fish and chips I've had in a long time. I've got to say, from start to finish, packaging, to, to to obviously to the end of it it was it was, a, it was something different you know what I mean you're paying for the good ingredients uh, quality ingredients quality packaging quality service 
Uh, just one thing before I go guys, if you, are, if you are a regular and you go back a few times, you can grab one of these cards here, uh, you can get it stamped. So basically every time you visit, it'll get a, a supper, it could be a fish supper or it can just be a normal supper. Uh, basically get it stamped and on your sixth uh, visit, you'll get a free supper. Uh, term of conditions are on the back, which basically grants you uh, a supper of your choice but it has to be a supper you're buying each time to get it stamped I'll definitely be going back so I'll get it stamped and then get a free one at the very end uh, but overall uh, I've got to say I enjoyed that uh, and uh, I will definitely be back yes so if you are visiting Edinburgh go and give them a try and all you vegans out there if you're looking for somewhere to eat go to the uh, go to fish in Edinburgh uh, I've left all the details in the description below, including the Onus uh, YouTube channel where he, if you like gold hunters or you're into gold rush, everybody who likes gold rush, uh, well this is basically the Scottish version. So go and check his channel out, leave a, subscribe to his channel, leave a comment um, and um, I hope you enjoy that kind of uh, content he's providing. Uh, but I'm going to end the video there guys, if you are new to the channel guys, Please subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. Thank you very much to all my regular subscribers, everybody who's tuned in new. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon.